guys, welcome back to a new vlog. It's gonna be quite a nice week this week, I think. I've got quite a lot of worky bits on. He's down here. Your little shadow. He's down here. Come yeah, on. but also lots of other time in the house and chilling with little Bo. <laughs> we just need to go out now and do a photo shoot. I'm working with Jimmy Chu on a really cool like photo shoot. So we're just gonna head out now and find somewhere with some beautiful autumn leaves and get a really lovely lovely dreamy setting and yes I'm working with him on this project and look how beautiful this bag is it's gorgeous and I've got sunnies that kind of match so powerful obviously I'll leave this link down below in case you'd like them but the piece de resistance are oh, these bad boys they're so badass amazing for this time of year we know when you're wearing like camels and creams and black Throw in a pair of boots like this and it just like amps up any outfit. So we're just gonna go shoot this. We're gonna bring Lil Bo out in the car in his carrier. Have I shown you his carrier? Where is his little carrier? Hmm? Such a cute little carrier. This is the, the one I was telling you about from Teddy Maximus. It's got a clip in it as well, so obviously you can clip it to the dog so it don't fall out. And then we've got his little harness. Absolutely adorable. And we have the matching, the matching lead. So we're all, you're all pimped out, aren't you, my gorgeous boy? It's Mr. Mr. 20,000 followers over here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves you, baby. Right, so I'm just going to get my things and I'm going to go, hopefully, find a beautiful spot to take some pics. Bobo, you are so adorable, baby. Look at you being a good boy. Bless you. Oh, look at you being a good boy. Oh, bless you again. Bless you again. We'll be staying in here, obviously, to keep you safe, but you can come and watch us, can't you? Yeah. Hi guys, I have, I've already filmed this, like I just, I filmed a little clip before where I was showing a few things and I've lost a whole bit of footage so I'm going to have to show you again. But I was just, I um, wanted to show you a few things that I got in my P.O. box that I thought were really nice. First up, Maison Margiela very kindly sent me over some of their replica candles, some of the best guys. The Jazz Club one and the By the Fireplace one are so beautiful, just really like deep, musky, woody scents. Um, gorgeous this time of year and i haven't tried this one yet but i love the fragrance bubble bath it's the newest replica fragrance that they brought out i have it on my bedside the cap well the cabinet in my bedroom i have it there and i always spritz it after a shower because it just smells it just smells so fresh and lovely so i'm looking forward to trying the candle so thank you to the maison Margiela team this is a super nice one. So this is called Box Tales. I think it's like a new brand. And it's like a letterbox brand. They send premium cocktails through your door. This looks really, really good, see, like inside. They all line up all the different ones. Like this is a new Negroni. Grapefruit, gin, sour, passion fruit martini, cosmopolitan, and espresso martini. So nice. You literally shake this up, pour it into a glass and serve it on ice probably. But they just look really, really nice those. Like I said, um, they offered to, to send me this and I said yes because at the moment I'm working on, I just wanna do like a post about like um, really good Christmas gifts, foodie Christmas gifts through your door or through your letterbox. So I thought this would be really, really great. So I just wanted to try it out and I'm very impressed. <laughs> look what I got. Harrods Advent Calendar. I said it last week on the vlog, but there are only a few. Oh, there are a number of advent calendars that I really, really rate. Um, I mean, they're all fantastic this time of year, but there are a few that I just really look forward to, and that's Harrods, Netaporte, and Dior. So I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing this one. Let's quickly show you it. This is really, really pretty with the two doors. Oh, it's so majestic. Ooh. Look how pretty, look at that 25 one. Can we open it? No, oh, okay, go on then. It's all, they're all in like little Harrods bags. Shall I look? Cause... Yeah, go on. Ooh, oh. What oh. is it? Oh, don't you look. I bet it's like a Charlotte Tilbury or... No, it's not. It's, are we, are we telling? Yeah. Ooh. Is that fancy? All I'll say is that it's a look, very luxurious skincare product. <laughs> don't want to ruin it. It's, some people like to keep it secret, so I don't want to ruin it. How nice are they? I mean, can they come in these little Harrods bags inside as well? Why is this one gold? Are these like the special ones when they're gold? Oh, I thought... Oh yeah, no, it's the 20s. It's 21, 22, 23 and 24 that are gold ones. Beautiful. 
I'll leave a link obviously down below where you can get that if you'd like one. And then I got this, here, this package. What's he up to? He's been, I've been on the phone to Rebecca for about an hour and a half talking through work and he's just been sat on my lap the whole time. Did you take him out for a week? Such a cute, yeah, yeah, just take him out. Did he wait? Yeah. Did yeah, I just got this from a brand called, I think they're a new brand called Soak Sunday. I think it's all like bath and body. I've seen a few girls that I know doing really beautiful ads for these. So they sent us a bath caddy. So we're going to put this in the spare room, aren't we? In the guest room. Nice little bath caddy. First things first, lovely bottle of wine. Thanks guys. But also loads of their products and I really love, I really love the branding and how they've made all the boxes. It's really lovely branding. So this is a clay face mask. They sent over the botanical bath salt, soak salts, not for Alex. Recently I spent 25 quid on some lovely bath salts in a thing. It came to them, over half was gone because Alex thought that you just tip a whole bloody tub into I the bath. I want a salty bath, what can I say? You're not meant to, it's really bad for your skin to be so chemical. Well, my skin feels amazing so well, I, well, I you must need to, be an exception. You owe me some bath salts, mister. Well, why don't you go to the sea and get some for free? Oh, she is your um, lovely body scrub. This is oh, almond oat and chamomile. Ooh, yeah. It's really, really subtle. Really subtle. I have to let you know how I get on with all this. I've never tried the brand before, but it all looks lovely. Like, this is beautiful. Bath and body oil. Almost looks like a little whiskey. Ooh. Little whiskey thing. It's not whiskey though. And then they've sent over for me, because it says VM on it. <laughs> little, little bathroom VM. Isn't that Ooh. lovely? I could have this. No, you were not. You were wearing mine the other day. Was that? No, you did a reel wearing it, so there's oh, yeah. evidence that of you wearing mine. Accidental, <laughs> accidental. Ooh, honey and oat scented candle. Ooh, lip balm. That sounds, oh, and a lip balm, how cute is that? Ooh, this smells good, I can already smell it. Mm. Oh, it's really lovely subtle branding, just says Soak Sunday on it, really nice. That's a lovely, that'll be so nice in the bath. Honey, oat that's and nice. vanilla. This is lovely, that's a really nice little lip balm. Is it? Oh, I dropped the top. So it tastes little tin lip balm. Tastes Christmassy. That oh! Cinnamon, no. And you have to make that nice. <laughs> it could be clove. Maybe that's why I'm saying it's Christmassy. It tastes nice. like, it's, is it stone? How did you say it in the years? Stone, stone, not scone, it's like, it's got, it's like a Christmas kind of cake. Now, Alex is going to, you're gonna make some food. You're gonna make us some sweet corn soup, aren't you? Did you find that delicious bread? I did, I got the last one. Jalapeno cheddar bread. Oh, you like that, see? Did they Brilliant. go underneath that? And then you put your book or your iPad in there. Oh, you... oh, oh, oh. That's awesome. Game changer. Yeah, that's really nice. Brilliant. Thank you so much to Soak Sunday, that is oh. divine. Might have a clay mask as well. Why the hell not, babe? Treat yourself. Treat yourself. 2011. Hey guys, it is Saturday today. I am in a fabulous, fabulous mood. I had a brilliant sleep last night. It's a shame because Alex didn't and Alex woke up about 5 a.m. and went down and got the dog, which meant that I wasn't woken up by the dog crying for the first time in two weeks. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just running upstairs. So I had I had a, a lay-in until nine. So I've had the best sleep ever. So I'm feeling really, really good today. I've just washed and air-wrapped air my hair all while the baby was sleeping. So, sorry, it's the puppy. <laughs> yeah, and then me and Alex now are gonna go to, we're gonna go to a local pumpkin patch. Just have a lovely day, get some pumpkins. I'm hoping they might also have some other like farm bits to buy. Like last time I went, they had like corn on the cob and things. I'm hoping they have some of that because that would be nice to buy as well. Anyway, I just want to do a little like old school beauty haul with you. I bought some goodies. I went on to look fantastic. There's just a few things I wanted. I am really into my baths again at the moment while it's going colder. I wanted to buy a few like bath products. So I went all out and went a bit crazy and bought loads of things. <laughs> so I thought I'd do like an old school beauty haul. So for bath time, I went for a few philosophy shower gels that I thought I could just use in the bath. This is a vanilla birthday cake. I think I bought this like 10 years ago. As I recall, it smells a bit like that Yankee candle. That smells so good. <laughs> yeah, just very sweet, vanilla-y. Like the kind of thing that I would just want to put in my bath. Yeah, it says shampoo, really? Shampoo, shower gel and bubble bath. I don't think I'll be using this on my hair, I'll be honest, but I will be using it as a shower gel and mainly as a bubble bath. So I bought that one in vanilla birthday cake. I bought another one in coconut frosting. Again, that sounded just too good. Oh wow, 
Oh, it's literally just like you've opened up a coconut. Wow, that's gonna be delicious for the bath. Oh my gosh, I love it. On the front, there's literally a recipe for like a coconut cake. <laughs> delicious so i got that i really went out here on all bath stuff i stuff i got a sanctuary spa sleep drift off bath soak dreamy bubbles midnight flowers and lavender oil that's exactly what i wanted just something for evenings so it'll really make me chill oh that smells so good it's a light subtle lavender nothing too empowering but that'll be amazing if i've had like a really hard day sleep enhancing fragrance that no doubt alex will probably throw like half of these into the bath when he has a bath and use them all up because he seems to think that that's how you have baths you throw half of it in <laughs> i'm only joking love you and um, i also years ago years ago i worked on a project with rituals and i'm pretty sure it was the happy buddha range and it just smelled so good that when I saw this online, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy the shower gel again. And I was gonna also buy the candle, but as you'll see in a minute, everything got totaled up quite a lot. And I was like, oh, do I wanna spend so much more on, on another candle when I have so many? But yeah, this is a happy Buddha one. Oh, oh crap. Oh yes, that smells so good. Oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like an orange blossom or something in this, but it does have some most fantastic energizing smell. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> it is so amazing, but it's like a bath foam. It's now all over the inside of this box. Oopsies. Yeah, so I treat myself to that. So that was it for the bath. Then I bought a new Aesop hand balm. And um, this is the Reverence Aromatique one because it's the one that has, uh, well, it's vetiver root, pettigrain, and bergamot rind. But it has like little bits in it, so it feels like exfoliating. And I just really, really like it by the bathroom sorry the kitchen sink so i got another one of these yeah i just i really really rate this one the reverence one so i got that and i went all a bit crazy here and wanted to get the matching hand balm this is so expensive guys for a hand lotion but i'll be honest with you i'm gonna probably really enjoy this and then when it's run out i will start to fill this with other hand lotions instead so you kind of make the most of the bottle so i'm almost buying the bottle here and i will just refill and refill but i just really wanted the matching set and i thought you know what let's just go all out and buy both so I did, I'll, I'll come back to you with how good this hand balm is. From the times I've used it in places like Soho House, I always really, really like it. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know how I get on, because it is pressa. And I also got myself a new Real Techniques sponge that comes inside of the case just for, just for keeping it a bit cleaner but I just really needed a new one. So I got one of those. And then I got a few bits for Alex as well that I thought he'd like. So um, he really likes this brand Murdoch for his hair. So I got him a sea salt spray. I mean, how lovely is a bottle? It's a lovely, like, masculine vibe bottle. So I got him that. He's used it before, I think he absolutely loves it. I got him the Murdoch Vintage Pomade, which he's used this morning and he really, really likes. His hair looks great. He's just sort of slicked it back a little bit. That smells a bit citrusy. Gives a classic sleek finish and strong hold. So yes, got him that. Also got him the Red Ken Brews um, cream pomade as well. This looks a bit more more creamy. That one looks almost like gel creamy. It's got him that as well. He can't really go wrong with the Red Ken men stuff. And then he also wanted. I mean, this would be such a good gift for anyone at Christmas who has a beard. But I wanted. He wanted a shave razor. So I got him this wall one. Look how cute. Comes in its own box. And you open it up and it's like a cutthroat razor. Really cool. So, yeah. So that was just like a little look fantastic haul. <laughs> Which was, yeah, super, super nice. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, no, I've forgotten some things. I also got the Sanctuary Foaming Bath Soak and didn't realise just how tiny this bottle was. This is like a travel size, but never mind. I'm still going to use it anyway. And I did, I bought one more thing for me as a treat. I bought this, I saw it. Do you like on the Look Fantastic like new in page and it set showed this and I was like, Do you know what? I've not tried anything from Burberry Beauty. Burberry Beauty in such a long time. So treating myself to this glow palette. I've already like swatched it, but it just looks so beautiful. This is like a contour shade. It's quite dark, but I'm hoping it's quite sheer. But it's a contour shade. The rest I think, yeah, that's more creamy. 
think the rest are all powders. These two are super glowy shimmery. So this is going to be like my inner corner highlight. This will like be my cheek highlight. And these are two beautiful, quite autumnal, pink toned, purple toned blushes. And these are like highlights. And it comes with a big mirror. Such a lovely packaging. Again, a really nice like Christmas present idea, I guess. So yeah, that was so nice. Treated myself a little bit. Um, and also, perfect timing actually to tell you, I have um, I have a code actually for Look Fantastic if you do want to treat yourself. Um, by the way, this isn't an ad. They're not asking me to tell you this. They just um, I just have a code that they made me. I'll leave the code down below if you do want to treat yourself to something. I thought that could be quite useful. But yeah, I just wanted a few new things. And I thought I'd show you because I don't remember last time I did a little beauty haul. Right, now I am ready for the day. I've got myself all dolled up. Hair's all big. <laughs> I've got some of, my, some of my pieces on, so I'm wearing my Orion pendant today with a little ruby birthstone. These have been restocked, by the way, they did go out of stock. We've completely restocked on pre-order and we have a pre-order available for the silver version. Bear in mind, if you do get to the silver, by the way, we only do the gemstones in gold. So it would, be, it would still look beautiful, you'd just mix and match the Orion silver with a little gold birthstone. But yeah, they're coming out in silver, which is super exciting. I'm also wearing the hoops, my beautiful halo hoops. And I'm also wearing the ear cuff. Again, the ear cuff went crazy. This was like the most best selling piece, which is amazing. And again, we have brought it back. And I'm pretty sure we're doing it in silver as well. And then over here, I'm wearing my huggies. I'm wearing the halo hoops with the huggy hoops. And I love those two together. So nice. And then on my hands, I'm wearing a mixture of the different halo rings. I've got two on here and I've got a little pinky ring on that one. And then on my wrist, I'm wearing two of the Saturn bracelets. I'm wearing the gold and the silver together. And I'm wearing Orion with the Nova ring beneath. Again, the Nova ring has been completely restocked. And we have started to stock the Orion ring in silver as well because so many of you requested it. So bring that out in silver. And I've got another halo there. So I'm all... I'm all decked out today, guys. I am ready because I just want to um, want to go to the pumpkin patch, get a few pictures, um, just for like blog posts. I'm kind of behind on blog post pictures. I used to always have so many like backed up, ready to go, and at the moment I'm con I'm just to the wire with blog post pictures. So I'm gonna go take some um, pics, pretty much. So I'm wearing my Holland Cooper from my edit, my Holland Cooper knit. And I'm wearing my white jeans as well. I'll link them both down below. And I'm going to wear my Holland Cooper biker, my leather biker as well. Such a beautiful biker. It's got a hound's tooth all on the inside. So I'm gonna look super nice and snug. Um, you might have probably seen these pictures by the time this comes out. So you probably already know all this, but. Yeah, Bo is being a dream this morning. He is being so good. Like at nine o'clock, Alex brought him up to me in bed with a coffee and he just got so excited to see me. I just love him so much. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt a quickly vlog. I know you can hear me at all. It's so, guys, it's so windy today. We're trying to take pictures. Good morning guys, it's a new dawn, it's a new day and I'm actually taking this week off for the first time ever. Rebecca has ordered me to have a week off because of how busy it's been and how busy it's going to be. Obviously we've got like Christmas, Black Friday time coming up and as you know it's quite a, a huge time in the marketing world so it's going to be, it's going to be a busy one. So I'm having this week off which means that me and Alex is going to like do things up in the house, spend time with Bo and just um, yeah. I can just wear no makeup face every single day and it's going to be wonderful. But otherwise, I'm just very, very excited for some downtime. Now, um, I thought you might want to come along because we just got delivery of our new bed. We ordered this up, so I'll show you obviously. Well, when it's done, you'll see how nice it is, but it's from Nex. I've got the mattress there, the mattress protector on and the sheet. I just got too excited. <laughs> got the mattress already. But we've got a really gorgeous... Um, I hope this is the right size, you know. Just want to double check on it, it's a Super King. I mean, it looks pretty huge. It's this really gorgeous Super super King board. Double. What? 
Don't be silly. <laughs> yeah, big like, mango wood bed with like a linen insert. It's really, really, really nice. I don't think I've seen the picture of this. No, I don't think you have, but it's gonna be great <laughs> for this room. It'll be super lovely. We just wanted a nice update for in here because the bed we had before was just getting We've a bit older. We've had it for We've... years and years and years. It's been through about three houses with us. Four yeah, houses. so I just wanted something a little bit different and brand new, really. And that other bed um, we gave to our friends for their brand new house. They just got a new house and they needed more beds, so it's been nicely recycled. So, let's get, oh, where shall I put you? Maybe I'll put you here. Let's get cracking with this. Looks great, isn't it? Beaut. I'm absolutely over the moon with the quality of this. It's so great. And how quick did we put that together? Like what, 20 minutes? 20 minutes half an hour, like yes. That. Okay, let's get the super heavy mattress then. Let's take it. Yes. Bowl's upset. You had to take him down because he peed on the carpet. Clean carpets and pups don't mix. <laughs> I think he's getting a bit too excited, so he's getting a bit upset downstairs, but. He'll be fine when we go down in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get this mattress on. Okay. Uh... Maybe that way and then lift it over the, the back. Pick that side up, move it this way, go that way, and we'll put it here and we'll slide it, slide it over, over the top. top. You're so smart. You're so smart. You step a bit back, back towards you. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More smashing. How many years bad luck is that? <laughs> a lot. Right. Fantastic. Gorgeous. Ooh, it's comfy. Is it? It's a nice mattress. Though. Oh, it's a really nice mattress. Whoa. That is so comfortable. It's really squishy, isn't it? Because yeah. it's got a mattress protector on it, it does. is it not? Oh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. How comfy is that? That's well more squishy than our bed. Mm. Look at all this space. It's nowhere near as big as ours, though, is it? Which is weird because it's on ours, there's only one up from this. This is big. This is big, but it's ours. Like, lay down, lay down. Yeah, this is big. It's nice. Yeah! Have you ever slept in any of the other rooms? No, I haven't at all. I know, actually, I have when I got sick that time. Oh, yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. You did. Um, right, now I've got. Zim Naturals. I can get this all nice now. Oh wait, wrong way. Alright, little pooch. It's the needy bums. Yeah, so again, like my other rooms, I've gone for chalk pink linen linens because they are just the best and they look so beautiful. So I treat this bed to a whole set. And I got new extra large pillows from Next as well. Um, no, I didn't, sorry, no, I got them from Dusk. Got these like extra large pillows and they're the soft ones. They're super flat, but with two, it should be a really comfortable sleep. So let me get all this sorted. And we're rolling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is like the cutest thing. Look at him. I didn't realise this matched his bed. Is it the same company? No. Is it no, not? it's a slightly different company. It's a lovely little Etsy company. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? It's literally identical to this. It's cute. Well, that's why I thought I'd get it, because it's yeah. so cute. Look at him now. <laughs> um, this, this is like the most cutest like, vlogging setup ever. Um, we've, we've just been again to the P.O. box to pick up some bits, and Pets at Home has sent us a really cute little package, so we thought we'd open it with Bo. Oh, is that turned? Twisted? <laughs> Bye! Clearly, the camera doesn't like you. <laughs> it's just focusing on it. It's still going. Good job. What is going on? Good Why is it moving? Oh. Right, let's see. He knows he's going to be more interested in the cardboard. Yeah. Well, he's, he's really chilled now. I don't think he's interested in anything at the moment. Oh, to Bo, we hope you're settling into your forever home well. We hear your teething. You are. So we've got you some chewy toys to help you, along with some other treats and essentials for your humans. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, this is 
so sweet. Okay, what have we got first? We've got Mr. Squeaky Monkey. He's too tired, isn't he? He's pooped off of the car, Jamie. This is pro oh, no, for us. Oh, no, no. no. Oh my gosh, another donut! Oh, brilliant. Oh, a chocolate donut this monkey. time. He wants the, he wants the monkey. <laughs> but what about the chocolate donut, Bo? Bo! You love your other donut, don't you? This one's <laughs> chocolate flavoured donut. Oh, it's a butter. It's one of those bunnies that's been cleaned. I was gonna love that. Oh, oh, you like this? Yeah. What's this? Oh yeah, because we got this one from Pets at Home as well. The other donut. So he's got two little donuts now. Does that have a squeak in it? So spoiled, Mister. Yeah, it squeaks. Oh, hello. It's like yes, I'll bite that too. Yeah, like lots to bite right now. Lots to bite. Oh, cute little bumblebee. Perfect for sensory development. Lots of different textures. Training treats. Cheese and apple. I just love cheese. Oh my god, are they really? Yeah. Mini Woffins. Woffins? <laughs> Stop it. Feed only as a treat. Reward or training aid. Poo bags. Oh, it's an essential. Oh, we've lost this. We've got another one. Thank God. Oh, great. Yeah, he loves that. I don't know where he's put that. Yeah, I don't know where that is. It'll be under. It'll be down the couch, I bet. Got some more dental sticks. I really like these little dental oh, sticks, what, actually. Oh, look. There's some Wainwrights. Hey. Amazing. Wainwrights. So we've been. So because of you guys telling us that Royal Cannon is no good, I moved on to Wainwrights, which has a really, really high score actually on the all food, pet food thing. Got shampoo too for him. Ooh, amazing. Yeah. These are chicken with cheese meatballs. Look at that. Don't you be sneaking on Three plus months again, so it'll be great in like a week or so. Collar charm. Can't go around this collar. Aww. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, that's really cute, isn't it? Gosh, thank you, pets at home. That is well sweet. Favourite bowl? What's your favourite thing? Spoiled rotten, isn't it? You are spoiled, mister. Fun doesn't stop there, guys. And then... I know you're not digging it, but I'm really into these turmeric lattes. Oh, no. So we also got... I could like, oh, more. More treats. We also got a little thing, um, a little box from Rosewood because we've had loads of um, toys sent from friends that are from Rosewood. So Rosewood have sent us a little box full. You are the luckiest oh, cool. little, oh my gosh. Puppy training pads. Great. Yeah, we're still putting puppy training pads inside of his crate at night. Yeah, so it's kind of like his bladder can just share. No, tell you what, we've got a toy there and you're eating the label. Eat the toy, see? And send us some more toys to Atra's Rosewood collection. He's gonna love that. That's cool. Another rabbit. Oh, he loves anything that's plush that that feels like um Towel material. toweling yeah. material. He will love that. Oh, this is cool. What's that? Biosafe puppy treat toy. Oh, do you put treats in it? Put and treats then inside it, and around. then he's got to try and get it out. Yeah. Red. That is weird looking, isn't it? Is it wow. Oh, he likes that straight away. He's like the. Oh, what is these? <laughs> yeah. What's that, babe? Again, it's got these weird little plastic thing. I really like the plastic bits. Okay. Oh, this is all oh, weird. Oh, it feels weird. Oh my gosh, that is one hell of a toy. Thing like. It's a reindeer. What are the guys smoking who designed this yeah. stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fox. Ghost. <laughs> it's a fox, but it's, it looks a bit reindeer-like with all this red and white Christmassy vibes. But it'll love that because it'll be that furry. His name's Jules. Then it's suede and then it's and it's rope. I love that. Anything with that crisp packet thing is like, ooh. Yeah. Is that good? Oh my god, look at you. Oh wow, hot dogs. <laughs> Literally hot dogs. Hot sausages. Four pack. Oh my gosh. You are one lucky little sausage roll, you are. Oh great, do you know what? I don't have anything like this, like puppy dental kit. We need at one point, we need to start brushing these little peggies. Is that a thing? Yeah. Get those little silken brushes and you brush it with puppy toothpaste. That. Yeah, see? And a, someone messaged me and said, get used to doing it early rather than leaving it too late and they're like, what are you doing? Yeah. So that's great. Here we go, soothing dental chew. Oh, Brilliant. Gorgeous blanket. Your favourite pattern as well. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I know I'm obsessed with hands tooth right now. Who is that from? Tall Tail? Tall Tails. That's really nice. Though. That's cool. Oh, well, that's funny. lovely. That's such a cute little, so lovely little blanket. Probably pop that in his bed. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that his bed, it's not yeah. too big. Got lamb training treats, and we've got salmon training treats, and then we've got sausage rolls. Brilliant, thank you so Spoiled much to Rosewood. Yeah. 
It's all about texture, isn't it? No, we just smashed that vase again. You smashed it once. I, I knocked it over yesterday. You didn't tell me that. <gasps> didn't want to, you to know. Did it smash? No, it didn't smash, it just fell over. It's because I did such a great job of gluing it back together. <laughs> Gosh, you are so treated. So thank you very much to Pets at Home and thank you to Rosie yeah. for all these extra bits. Keep him busy for a little bit. Whee! And then his bed, by the way, this is from Lords and, Lab Lords and Labradors. And this beautiful, um, like, Sherpa Did Rebecca get wool. This? No, this is from Lords and Labradors too. And he's got the cutest little collar on. These are from a company from a lady okay. and you... Oh, no, these aren't for you Give now. Give him one. Give him one. Right now, shall I? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a brand new company called Bark and Bites and she makes all homemade junk free dog treats I mean, look how lovely they're all like little stars these are oat parsley and peanut and she's put oh they say boo from, like little halloween ones pumpkin spice and pumpkin and coconut oil i bet you love that oh how big is the hole in it oh yeah okay one of these then i keep them busy whatever it is. yeah bark and bites I'll leave links down below, by the way, but yeah, it's a new little independent business. And she thought she'd send one. The This is so beautiful. New lead. I've got a bit of a theme for Bo. I think this kind of duck egg blue. So he's got a gorgeous little collar on, if you can see it, and it's got a silver, silver clasp. And then we've got the matching, the matching lead. And this again is from a lovely little business called Honey and Hudson on Etsy. And she has all these really gorgeous different colours. Gosh, I look crazy today. She has all the different colours of um, leads and, and all sorts of dog things. All so beautiful. Yeah, to any of our friends and family, guys, please don't buy us anything for Bo for Christmas. <laughs> he does not need it, but thank you. Just one more piece to show you that I was sent as well, which is just such an incredible treat. It's from Emma Shipley. She's just launched a new range of throws. And this could not be more perfect for this room with all the pinks and the purple tones. This is absolutely beautiful. And it's got, it's really quite big actually. Gorgeous with the big elephants and the birds. It's really pretty fringing and it's like fully pretty sure it's fully silk as well it's just unbelievable quality so pretty so i'm gonna have that here on the couch as well so oh do you know what as well i'm pretty sure that the team have sent me a discount code for emma shipley i'll add it on the screen here if i have one i'm pretty sure i have a discount code that'll get you some money off how beautiful is that babe that's cool isn't it stunning it's the same print as the cushions but these are in more of a red tone red and brown tones Whereas this, I love this even more in this mm. super pinks. It's perfect for this room. How nice. Cool. Little one is still enjoying. How has that fire just gone out? Oh, it's that wood, it's crap. Yeah, the wood is rubbish. Someone's been a cutie pie. Little popos. Teeny little popos. He's been so sleepy today after his injections. Such a snoozy little boy. Just had to show you how cute this was.